What a historic day to be able to welcome the President of Israel, Mr. Herzog, to this joint session of Congress to address us, our most trusted ally in the Middle East, and to be able to reaffirm our support. As my colleagues have said this week, I authored a very simple resolution. You know, you, you think about this resolution, and we shouldn't even have to say it, but it said three simple things. It said that the state of Israel is not a racist or apartheid state. It said that Congress rejects all forms of anti-Semitism and xenophobia. And it said that the United States will always be a staunch partner and supporter of Israel. You know, I think the hope was that all 435 members of the House of Representatives would reaffirm those three very simple statements. And unfortunately, 10 of our colleagues failed to reaffirm it. In fact, they doubled down on disgusting statements that have been made. Statements that call Israel racist or apartheid state. Statements that don't reflect the thoughts, the hearts, the emotions of Americans and our support of Israel. And folks, unfortunately, the veneer is ripped off that this radical, liberal, progressive side of the Democrat Party has hijacked the administration. They've hijacked the platform. We need the Democrat Party to stand up against that, and unfortunately, they're not doing that. And it's not just on this issue, it's on many other issues. But I'm proud to stand with my colleagues here and throughout the rest of of the U.S. House of Representatives, proud to stand with Republicans to reaffirm our support for Israel, to tell the world that we will push back on Iran, the largest state sponsor of terror, to tell the world that we support Israel and we support 75 years of statehood. In fact, we were the very first country to recognize Israel 75 years ago as a nation. And we will continue to push back on the radicalism that these 10 people in the House of Representatives failed to stand up for. It's an honor to stand with my colleagues here to reaffirm our support for Israel, to reaffirm our partnership. And with that, I'd like to uh, welcome Max Miller, my good friend from Ohio.